Welcome to this very broad overview of the community work process. This overview is based on the book The Theory and Practice of Community Work, A Southern African Perspective by Mike Weyers. We will start off our overview with the first step of the process, which is to do a situation analysis. This step basically entails to analyze the context within which you find yourself. This will include the employee organization, the contextual community, the socio-economic context within which the services will be rendered, and then the expectations of all the important role players. These would be your employer, the community itself, and any other expectations with regard to the type of services that your organization should render. The basic purpose of the second step of the community work process is to identify and to gain an understanding of the nature of the social problems, the social needs and the unutilized potential in the community that should be the focus of your attention. This should be combined with the results of the preliminary feasibility study to gain a total understanding of the type of services that you ultimately have to render. The first task during the second step would be to identify the impediments that should receive attention. This could be done by analyzing existing services, by doing research in the community, by complying with responsibilities in terms of your organization's field of service, to react to events or to respond to external demands. Task number two would be to define, analyze and prioritize these impediments. This will be done by ascertaining all the important role players views and then in the final analysis coming to your own conclusions regarding the demarcation, definition, nature, cause and priority rating of each of the identified impediments. Task number three would be to do a preliminary feasibility study, the purpose of which would basically be to assess the workability of each of the identified impediments. The third step of the community work process would be to formulate your plan of action. This again will entail three basic tasks. These are to verify and operationalize the practice models, to select the operational elements of action and to formulate your programs and their projects. What this basically entails is to finally decide on the practice model or combination of models that you will use to guide your community work service and then to use this as a basis to select your action system, your program goals, your intended consumer system, the specific impediments that would be addressed and the specific services that you will render. It all comes together in your written community work service delivery program. Such a program, which is basically your blueprint for action, can also take on the form of a business plan. The program usually consists of a number of specific projects. The fourth step would be 
be to implement your plan of action. The first task in this regard is to legitimize the plan. This is done by gaining the relevant role player's consent to proceed with attempts to change some facet of community life. These role players include the employer organization, government bodies and of course the community itself. With the second task you will implement the plan. This usually entails mobilizing the organization and its resources, mobilizing community members, community resources and external resources and people, allocating responsibilities, coordinating activities, controlling operations and resources, giving feedback, motivating people and maintaining the enthusiasm, influencing the target system's insight, emotions and behavior as well as increasing their knowledge and skills and of course changing people's circumstances and their environment. During this process you will have to perform a number of community work roles and also execute or apply a large variety of community work techniques. The final step is to evaluate the process and results and to sustain change. It should be noted that although evaluation forms an important part of this step, it basically occurs right from the beginning and forms an integral part of the entire community work process. It should also be noted that the fifth and the first step of the community work process overlaps. So, in other words, the results of your evaluation forms the basis of a new situation analysis. This completes the cyclical nature of community work. And of course, if you do community work successfully, you will be a super social worker. Well, thank you.